Hello guys and welcome back to another video from me, Harry. I say it back, I haven't uploaded in a while, but you know what I mean. Yeah guys, we're going to um, pretty much kick it off here, start a new Ultimate Team and sort of make this kind of a bit new, a bit of sort of a different series, bit of a twist. What I'm going to do guys is uh, I'm going to sort of go on a European adventure basically because I'm in the European spirit. The castle have qualified for Europe so I'm all happy, all European up. That's even a word, I don't think it is, I think it's made it up, but yeah. Um, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go go around Europe, building squads from different nations, from, you know, from the North of Europe to the South of Europe to the West to the East to, to the northeast to the southeast you get the idea so basically guys what we're going to do is we're going to be starting off in iceland and um, don't ask me why i just looked at the map of europe and i sort of picked the country which is on the the top of the left of it basically basically you'll see in a second i'm going to show you a map and i'm in, in this starter pack i actually get quite a good place from denmark and he's got m77 um, piece and sort of build the initial starter pack around him just to sort of get it all going and yeah guys this is the map this is the crack basically what we're going to do is we're going to start in iceland and then after we've built the icelandic team it's not going to take long because there's not many players which i kind of didn't realize but yeah it was a bit of a fail of a choice but yeah after um iceland we're going to go to ireland Northern Ireland, Scotland, or Norway, and then um, basically the rules of sort of this sort of ultimate team journey basically is that um, you can only go from country as in a border across. If that makes sense. So, like for instance, if you're in um, uh, say Greece, actually no, that's probably better. But <laughs> say if you're in England, actually that's probably a better example. You can only go to um, Wales. Um, Scotland, um, France, you can only go pretty much across the border, you can't go like from England to say Turkey, if that makes sense. I hope it makes, it probably could make sense like the longer the series go on, but basically the first one we're doing is Iceland, and I'm in the first game, Mohammed, it was an absolute beast for me. I wasn't entirely sure who he was, because I had a Welsh striker front, and then I, I saw this guy called Mohammed, and I was like, WT, T, uh, WTF, if I can even pronounce my words, and a um, bit of casual racism there, but um, yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, and this and that's that. Uh, oh, this has been an absolute. I haven't done this in a while, so this is gonna be like this is gonna fail so bad. But um, yeah, um, what was I saying? Lost my grain of thought. Yeah, Iceland. So basically, we're gonna build an Icelandic squad, and it's not gonna take too long. It's gonna be um. It's quite a sort of an unusual squad. I've never really seen an Icelandic squad in Ultimate Team. Obviously, the you sort of your main players are Sigurdsson, Sigurdsson, and Sigurdsson. And yeah, um, basically the squad's going to be built around Sigurdsson, Sigurdsson, and Sigurdsson. There's like three guys called Sigurdsson. <laughs> I'm not just trolling. Yeah, um, there's Kruf there with a bit of a tramp. I apologize for that. You know, I had to do it. I was my first game on Ultimate Team. I was sweating. Didn't want to lose because if I lost this game, it would have been an absolute fail. To it, um, and you see, it's nice little goal there, a couple of step overs, nice little cute finish. And I sort of got off to a good start, got off to a win, got off to a hat wreck, and it doesn't get any um, better than that, really. I suppose unless I won 5 0, that would have been so, sort of better. But yeah, after that game, I went and bought a new centre forward, which is kind of a fail in a way because my best player was a centre forward, and I bought another centre forward, which is kind of. A little bit daft, you know, it's a bit like having drug by them buying Torres, you just wouldn't do it, would you? <laughs> and um, yeah, um, it was a bit of a fail, so I had to put him striker, but he's obviously not going to get the maximum chemistry. So that was a bit of a disaster, but I suppose that's something that was happening. And I come up against this guy here, which he was called Seabiscuit, and I think that's a film. I'm not entirely sure if you know, leave a comment. And he had a um, Bojan um, up front, or a Bob, as Sam5000 likes to call it. And, um, yeah. He's quite a good player. I think he's got four star skill. He's got a bit of pace to burn. He absolutely destroys me there. Look at my defender. He's just. <laughs> you just get the end. I just gave up and I just ran the opposite direction. I was like, I'll oh, just fuck that. And um, yeah, he takes the lead of a bit, bit of a tramp, but I can't exactly complain considering the last game. So I suppose what goes around comes around. And there, Ronaldo trap from him. Nice little finish. Pass my keep. Absolute rocky. I had no chance of stopping it. 2 0. You know, I was kind of a bit shell shocked at that point and I just I couldn't I couldn't get into the game or I don't know what it was I just wasn't feeling it and I got beat 2-0 which was a bit of a bit of a disastrous start you know so after that game I was so upset I sold all my players well I say sold I listed them all up for 200 coins uh, I listed the silver guy for a little bit more than I bought them for hopefully making a little bit of a profit but unfortunately for me only about three players sold which is absolute fail and a half and um so I, I just sent them all back to my club and I thought, fuck, for fuck's sake and I, I, I rebuilt the team and then i discarded a couple of the players that were just not going to get game time some of the bronzes like free at the back goalkeepers and stuff i didn't need and i bought a couple of icelandic midfielders sort of just to get the chemistry up hopefully and it just um, adds to my squad. I needed a couple of bronze players anyway, so I thought I might as well go for them. They're nothing particularly special. The guy from Hibernian is actually not too bad. He's got 74 pace, which is quite high for a, 
a non-rare bronze, so I suppose he's sort of a better player, shall we say. But Iceland in general has not got the you know the biggest depth of talent, shall we say. Um, there's not really many good players. There's quite a lot of good young players because um, I've actually done a bit of research on them. You know, I was thinking of you guys, and um, they've invested heavily in a youth sort of youth football and, and young players generally so hopefully um Iceland in a few years time might have some really good players obviously they've currently got some good players some good young players obviously they've got Sigurdsson and um, Swansea who's on loan from Hoffenheim hopefully if Newcastle buy him I'll be over the moon and they've got a couple of I think there's a young Ajax player who I had um I think he's called Sigurdsson as well and then there's another guy called Sigurds Sig Sigurdsson like spelled slightly different. This is a guy I buy here, and um, he's got four star skills, and he's actually a bit of a beast. Um, eighty p, seventy nine head, and um, I wouldn't exactly say he's like a silver Ibrahimovic, but he's six foot. I think he's six foot one, and he's you know not the quickest, but he's got enough pace, good head, and he's not got the best finesse on him. He's more of a power um shooter, but the four star skills is great. And um, I go out there looking for um a Sigurdsson. Um, I'm actually hopefully gonna have a trading. Um, episode in this series, maybe a couple of episodes in to get the inform tickets in, which would be quite nice for the squad. Sort of make it look a little bit nicer, and hopefully, um, what my plan is, my plan is to play him um, centre forward just for his passing and his shooting, basically, because um, he's not the quickest, so it wouldn't be ideal on the wing or on the camp position, shall we say. And yeah, and yeah, that is my plan, but obviously, I haven't got the coins to sort of say that through as yet. But that is sort of the idea. But um, generally, the Icelandic players aren't the quickest. Like the defences, like I think there's only one left back and one right back on the whole of my team market. And um they're both very slow. I think it's Heridison, is it, of Comrie and the Bolan fella, his name eludes me. The pace is shocking. The two centre halves have got poor pace, but we'll we will overcome that. But the only sort of bad thing about Iceland if you're sort of thinking about building a squad is they've got um no keepers. Um I've completely just not watched the gameplay there. I'm not entirely sure of his team. I think he had a, a a Turk up front, I'm not entirely sure from Real Madrid. I completely missed it. I think he takes the lead there. And then, um, yeah, at this game here, I was kind of like a bit sweating because I just lost the game the, sort of the day before and my first game on. And always first game, a little bit rusty. But there's Sigurdsson on the um, corner. He's got some really good um, free kick stats and set piece stats generally. And um, yeah, um, so other news today, I've talked a lot about Iceland, which is kind of a bit OTT. But yeah, another news today Roy Hodgson released the England squad. Um, you've probably already seen the squad, but I'll quickly run you through it, give you my thoughts. Obviously, the three goalkeepers. They just, you know, Joe Hart's obviously going to be number one. You got Rob Green, who's very average, got loads of mistakes there. And then you got John Ruddy, who's actually quite a good um, goalkeeper. And um, so the three keepers, you can't really complain. You know, obviously Joe Hart will start. The other two will fight it out for the number two, sh the number two um, shirt. Oh, wait, it'll be number 12 shirt, but you know what I mean. And in defense, you've got usual suspects. Like the squad itself generally has been quite disappointing, in my opinion. Like, You've got obviously you've got the the two left backs. You've got Leighton Baines and Ashley Cole, which is you know really good left backs. You kind of complain about them, you know, top class players, you know. And obviously you got your defenders. You went, you know, the big call was um, Rio or JT, and he went for JT with all of his baggage trusters. I wasn't surprised if to be honest, because Rio Ferdinand's been a little bit iffy, I suppose, this season. You know, and, and will he be able to play sort of six games in a fortnight? Probably not. And uh, other defenders, he's got uh, Julian Lescott, who's you know. He's all right, but you know he's not exactly gonna set the world alight, shall we say? But for Phil Jones, who's pretty average in my opinion, and he's got went for Cahill as well, who's quite average, and at right back he's went for Johnson, which is who. <laughs> It would, to be honest, it's horrific. How many Mika Richards isn't in the squad? I do not know. He's not been the most consistent Richards, but you know, I think he's an absolute animal and he should be in the squad. Midfield, he's got the usual suspects. You know, you got Barry. You know, you got Downing. It's it's you know. It's, <laughs> He obviously, he's, he's went for Chamberlain, which is kind of a positive. And up front, he's went for Carroll, which is quite laughable, to be perfectly honest. How Grant Hall didn't get in the squad is beyond me. And obviously, you've got the other strikes. You've got Jermaine Defoe, it's quite a safe option. And generally, the squad's pretty poor, but I don't know how Adam Johnson didn't get in. I know he hasn't been playing regularly, obviously, for City, but he is a quality player, and he should, should be in the squad, in my opinion. But yeah, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It went quite fast, actually. I've kind of run out of time, what I was going to say. But yeah, um... Yeah, <laughs> cheers guys, hope you enjoyed and like